that he's an opera singer who's taken the country by storm. In fact, if he keeps this up, I've just got two words for him. Three tenors. 30 quid. I think you'll find he's worth more than that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Paul Potts. What are you here for? To sing opera. You work at Carphone Warehouse and you did that. I made it through to the semi-finals. I vote for you. You're fantastic. It was magic. The first act's gone through to the final. Paul Potts! This competition has been the best thing that's ever happened to me. I wasn't even sure whether to actually enter the competition. And to come from that position to being in the final is just mind-blowing. I just can't believe that all this is happening to me. It's transformed me from a guy who has no confidence in himself whatsoever. And it's shown me that I can achieve things. I just need to believe in myself. I can finally walk around with my head held high. To perform at the Royal Variety Performance would be the chance of a lifetime. I really want to win this final. I'm starting to feel like somebody now, and I don't want that to change. This is our final act of the night, ladies and gentlemen. It's Paul Potts! Question for you. Can you get me a Nokia 6210? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. The whole country has gone Paul Potts potty. I mean, what's the reaction been like? What's the reaction been like from your friends at work? I, I don't I don't think any of them could believe it. And I don't think, in all honesty, I can believe that all this has happened to me. It's you know, I, I said last time, you know, it's like a it's like a like a bus journey and it's it's heading to sort of never never land, you know, it's just yeah. It's just so difficult to believe, and I'm just so, you know, 
grateful that you know, I'm able to gain a bit of confidence. Um, I should have more faith in myself, and I'm working on that. And yeah. it's, really, it's really shown me the way, you know, and I hope this is the start of... Well. Let's see what these guys made of the time. Yeah. what did you make of that time? What a performance. Cool. Paul, I remember, I remember your audition very well, because I remember you coming on stage in that terrible suit, and you looked nervous, you looked scared even, um, the expectation level was very low. I turned to Simon, I remember, we both raised our eyebrows when you said opera, and we thought, oh, my God, here we go. And then you began to sing, and we just felt the hair on our back go up. And it's carried on like that every time you've sung. And when you'd finished that audition... I remember thinking to myself, I've just seen the winner of Britain's Got Talent. And I've got to say, we have, seen, we have seen some incredible acts tonight, but having watched you perform again that same song, I still think we've seen the winner of Britain's Got Talent. has absolutely wrung me out to dry. I'm <laughs> knackered. I'm just like, I've got nothing left. You know, you won't be going back to Carhartt Phone Warehouse. You won't be on any kind of pay as you go. You'll be on a contract from Monday. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, you, you can assume that, but, you know, this is all about winning. And as Piers said, you know, your story touched everyone when you came out. Shy, humble man with an extraordinary talent, uh, and I want to give the underdog a shot on this show, and I'd love you to win after that performance. Thank you, guys. Brilliant. Brilliant. Great performance. Well done, Paul. If you think Paul Posh should be singing for the Queen, the number to call is 09011, 32, 22, 06. One more time, ladies and gentlemen.